Hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to 5 Minute Eats and today we have got another chili review for you. We've done a few of these lately and we've also got a couple chili playlists. We've reviewed a ton of them and this one is a new one that I saw at Walmart the other day. They also carry this at Meijer. This is the Yellowstone Angus Beef Chili with Beans. 15 ounce can, which is standard. Everything in this bowl is the entirety of the can. And this is made by a company that we have reviewed before. This is from the Vietti Artisan Craft Chili People. Oh, really? Yes, and if you recall- and I think it was good, right? Theirs was the winner of one of the Chili Weeks. Oh, wow. Yes, so- And so is this connected with Yellowstone? Yes. The TV show? It, yes, Paramount oh. is on the label here. It is yeah. branded like, via the TV show. And it is $3.68 for the can, which is less than the Wendy's chili, but more than the around $2 price of other standard chilies. What's also interesting is I'm looking at the ingredients. It's pretty simple. Yes. So that's really nice. Mm -hmm. There's not too much, too much on here, in here. Too I much mean, filler. Yeah, too much filler, too much scary stuff. Yeah. Um, Yellowstone, good TV show. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have a lot of spinoffs, which I'm not really crazy yeah. about. It's yeah. getting out of hand. The original is the best. Yeah. Now, on the cover, this looks like a very, very thick, chunky chili, which is right up my alley. But in the bowl, it's definitely more of a soupy chili. It's a little bit more watery than I'm used to. And I always forget, do you like beans or no? <laughs> yes. I feel like a chili is not a chili without beans. If it doesn't have beans, then it's just a hot dog chili. To me, it doesn't really matter. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically, we review everyday gross items. So before you spend your hard-earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Now this smells really great. So And you can see like all of the peppers and stuff in there too. Yeah, and Vietti Foods is out of Nashville, Tennessee. Yes. So it's very Yellowstone. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Let's try this out. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back to our rating system. Thumbs up right again, thumbs down, we're not. So for me, this is a thumbs up. Really surprised here because I thought maybe this would be just a money grab. It would suck. Surprisingly, this is pretty good. It's very flavorful. I loved all the ingredients in it. If I had to criticize, I would say the only criticism is the beef. Good quality. I love the the size of it. I just think it could have been seasoned better. That's the only criticism I have. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, this is a very flavorful chili. You, if you actually gave this to me, honestly, I don't think I would know this is from the can. Mm -hmm. That I would think this is something um, someone made. I love how liquidy it is. It's not very thick. I guess another criticism I would have, because you know, I think it's the Vietti. Mm -hmm. If I recall correctly, it had more vegetables. Yeah. And um, I actually liked it. That was really good. That's what I remember most about it. And I guess it would be nice for this one also to have it. But then again, you know, then it's going to be, uh, it's yeah, it's, well, it's going to resemble their mm. original product, right? Yeah. But they did a great job on this. It's like the the uh, the Wendy's, right? Mm. The the companies that are coming out with their chili. I'm glad they're not just like accepting whatever these companies are offering them. Mm -hmm. I like that they're demanding quality mm -hmm. instead of just mediocre product for a money grab. Yeah. Thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Alrighty, for me, this one is going to be a thumbs up. It was initially going to be a thumbs down. The longer I sat with it though, the more I came around. Now here's the thing. I liked it from the start, but to me it was going to be, but do I actually wanna buy it again over some of the other chilies that I like? And at first I was thinking, nah, you know, don't really need to. But the thing is, this one is much more spicy than the other like standard chilies that we've tried. I agree, it is spicy. Um, I would say it's like a, just a notch above medium. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like the heat is there, but it's not. It's not overwhelming. Yeah, it's not you know, overwhelming. But but it it adds something extra. Because the thing is, I was thinking, man, I would even buy the Wendy's before this one. But you know what? The Wendy's and let's say like a Hormel or Armor, those are like the ones that I typically will like go for. 
They're not spicy though, whereas this is spicy, so it does give me something that I'm not getting from the other chili brands. So yeah, I would definitely keep this in the rotation. Now I mentioned in the Marie Callender video that there's like three ways that I will consume chili in a bowl, on a hot dog bun, even without the hot dog, and in a Frito chili pie. This one I could not put on a hot dog bun. It's too liquidy for that. However, I could eat this straight out of the bowl or do it with the Fritos. It's not overly salty like some of the ones that we have seen lately. Yes. Like there really is like, my only complaint would be a little bit more seasoning in the meat. The meat quality was good and I did love that there were some quite large chunks in there. Like it wasn't just like super finely ground up like some other chilies. Yeah, it was nice that the, the meat was tender. Super tender, literally no funky bits in there, nothing. And the flavor was fine, but it would have been nice to have a little bit more seasoning like in the actual meat. Yeah. But that's really the only problem here. To sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.